All right, Slash, you ready? This is gonna be your big debut. What, who, me? Oh, he's, oh, he's singing. Oh, okay. Well, enough relaxing. Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. And here we are, guys. Third gym. Yeah. Oh, we should probably talk to the dude. I totally walked right past them. You champion the making. I don't remember what his voice is. This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Thanks, buddy. That's actually kind of useful since that's their only weakness. Now, let's see. As usual, I'm going to see how many of these trainers I can avoid. And then I'll fight them off screen. Alright. Now, if you played Gold and Silver, you'll notice that this place is designed to look a lot like a Clefairy Sprite. I'm lost. <laughs> oh, I, I see it now. This kind of forced perspective is really messing with my perspective. Oh. I think you're required, because I don't think I can avoid you. Yeah, you're staring right at me, then, alright, gonna maintain eye contact with you. You shouldn't let your guard down just because I don't look tough. Okay, well, let's see how tough you are then, Carrie. Oh, I snubble, no, no. <laughs> that is one of the like cutest and ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. And that's what I thought way back. Alright. Alright, Slash. I'm kind of glad I did some of that breeding because you by default got Vacuum Wave. Which is a fighting type move. And fantastic. You did a lot more than what you should because you got the Technician ability. I'm so proud of you for that. And even though I got my speed lowered, Vacuum Wave is one of those, like, quick attack, basically. It's a unique move, actually, because it's a special type move. Sorry, she just said, gosh, I thought you were weak. Oh, you looked weak. Alright, she took, uh, I guess, yeah, sure. Go ahead and contradict yourself. Okay, and she is required for sure. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have strong and cute Pokemon. Yeah, we'll see. But what I'm saying, yeah, the vacuum wave is actually kind of unique because as far as I know, when it comes to those priority moves, there isn't many of them that are special typing that way. Like, most of them are physical attacks. Now, sure, that doesn't help my case too well. Like, it's working, so I'm not complaining. But, I think I could essentially get the same damage down with just like a quick attack, and I get the little add bonus of it being a physical attack. I don't know. Let me try. Let's just try using quick attack and see what happens. I could also use False Swipe, but I think Quick Attack is stronger? I don't know. I'll have to fact check that. Yeah, I technically got more in there. But I'm still going to use a Vacuum Wave because I think it's hilarious. It's basically the way they describe it. You're punching so hard, punching the air so hard, that it makes a essentially a little vacuum. Which realistically actually happens can actually happen in real life there's something called a mantis shrimp I think that's right and that is exactly how they kill their prey they punch their prey so hard that it creates a vacuum and yeah I only know this because Lunar watches true facts and look it up You'll laugh your ass off. It's pretty awesome. Guy sounds like Morgan Freeman and then talks about animal facts, except sometimes he goes off key. You know, not off key, but you know, off cue. Alright. So, 
Now we've cleared up the path. Oh, jeez, I can see the eyes of the Clefairy. They're terrifying. Okay, so now we can get up to the gym leader, which of course is Whitney up there with her pink hair. But before we do that, I am going to battle all the other trainers that we skipped. So, I will be right back. And we're back. So, uh, Slash gained one level while we were doing that stuff, so yay! Now, time to take on the infamous Whitney. Hi, I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Well, you know, that was like a long time ago, but it's okay. Everyone, in, everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon is super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Yeah. Which is kind of scary considering that you're, you didn't have really any ambition to, you know, train Pokemon. You just did because everyone said it was cool. Yep. So here we go. Got ourselves a Clefairy to fight. Alright, this one's a little bit more resilient. Okay. Learn the vacuum wave. Wonder how that's gonna help. I mean, it could, but. Oh dear. What do we got in store with the metronome? Faint attack? I don't think that's gonna do a lot. Nope. Didn't think so. And I knew you were gonna do it. I knew you were gonna do it. That sounded like a Ninja Turtles. Little. Never mind. You got <laughs> Most of you are too young for that. I don't know, I did false swipe. I thought it was gonna help. Energy ball. That is also not gonna be super effective. But good try, though. Good try. I appreciate the effort. Now, some of you may be wondering why aren't I switching in and out uh, claps? Well, my only excuse for that is I am purposely. Oh. Hey, just one left. Oh, you had two, so yeah, one minus one is. I mean, one minus two. God damn it, you screwed up my math, Whitney. Why'd you have to do that? Okay, short, long story short. God damn, I can't think right now. Long story short, I am. Oh. Slash. Buddy. You have to. No. Just. Don't. There you go. Send that vacuum wave that way. That's gonna hurt, though. Oh dear. I'm in trouble now. Yeah, yeah, poor you. Yeah. I want to do a thing real quick. Because I have a feeling this is gonna get bad really quickly, considering two of my Pokemon are weak to rock. And that's gonna keep doing damage. It's gonna snowball. They really should have called that thing snowball. But I'm just picking hairs at, or splitting hairs at this point. Picking hairs. What the hell is with my English right now? You know what? You're gonna yawn and you're gonna like it. Alright, and I'm going to heal. Since she got to, I suppose why can't I? I still have not finished explaining why I'm not training my APOM. This is gonna hurt, I just gotta make sure I don't die from this. Ow. Okay. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. That hurt! Mmm. Alright, Slash, you think you can do it? I believe in you, buddy. Don't let me down. I probably could should have just done quick attack. I'm gonna do quick attack next turn if this roller doesn't kill Slash. Come on, Slash. Yeah! Alright, let's do this. Quick attack. You got this. Damn it! Thanks for playing, Slash. Oh, poor buddy. Okay, I don't trust Quilava with a rollout building up like that, so... 
Oh, that's a beautiful time for the Quick Claw, the proc. Thank you, Quick Claw. Okay. Long story short, Abram will be getting trained as we move up to the next city. Okay? Good? Good. And we get a level up even better. Get it, got it, good. Get, 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 good. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Yay! Eh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's wonderful. Okay. Wah! Wah! <laughs> you mini! <laughs> uh, okay. Can I get my badge? Nope. Okay. What do you want? I know you may when you cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Is that implying that it always happens, or what? Okay. Cool. So that's their way of being like, Hey, don't forget your badge. <laughs> what? Did you want a badge? Oh, right. I forgot. The, his plane badge. Yay. Yeah. That was, uh... That was their way of making sure that you went back for your badge. Playing bad lets you let you poke my new strength outside battle. Oh, and you can have this too. I'm assuming this is rollouts. It's a tract. Okay, that would make more sense. Because rollout's a rock move. Why should would she give me a rock move? She gave me a tract, which oddly enough, I was smart enough to Oh, I heard that this thing called the Poke Thon. Poke Poke th th oh. Yeah. It's right next to the national park. Yay, you should go try it. Maybe we might. Maybe once. Or twice. It depends who we who we got and goddamn walls. But we'll see. But there we go, we got ourselves our plain badge. Yay. Much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Mind you, I kind of had Scyther to sweep everything. I cannot navigate through this effing gym. Okay, here we go. Are we are we out? Is it safe? Oh. What does Mother want? Uh, okay, cool. She bought ourselves uh, and I something with our money. That's good. That's fine. I want to quickly go into this flower shop. Don't judge me. Ooh, dude's gonna like flowers. Uh, but in all honesty, this is why. She was giving us sass before because we didn't have the badge. So now we have it. It's like, oh, you defeated Whitney. Well, this, uh, not, nothing to worry about then. Yeah, you can have Squirt Ball then. Here, you can keep it. Yay. Squirt Bottle. I want to look at it real quick because they always try to make the little whatever bottle, the sprinkler, whatever. Yeah. It looks like a Squirtle. That's why it's a Squirt Bottle. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Alright, let's quickly swing by the department store and see what Madre got us. Let's see, yeah. What does the delivery man have for us? I, that was totally off rhythm, but that's fine. A Casp Berry? Never heard of it, actually. Some of these berries that she's getting us, I've never ever heard of, so... That's a good thing. How you doing, buddy? You like the towers, too? Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. Thanks. <laughs> he was giving me my plan B. Sorry, plan C, really. Because I really did not want to use him for that gym because of the rollout. So, I'm glad we got Scyther. I'm really happy with that. But, with that being said, guys, that's pretty much everything we can do in... What the? Uh, oh, Slash... <laughs> yeah, that's right, Slash fainted. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. How you feeling? Yeah, you're all better now? Oh, okay, that's good. So, next part, guys, we're gonna explore north properly this time <laughs> and see what we have in store. So, until then, you guys, 
This is Solar Primal signing out, and bye for now.